It's been a while. I know a lot of you guys have probably forgotten about this project and I started to forget about it too, but this is my scooter that I'm putting a jet ski body on. So it looks like I'm riding a jet ski on land. And what's really exciting about this is I finally got my motorcycle license. So I'm actually legal to drive this. <laughs> so we're gonna finish it up. Um, probably not like super quick, but we're gonna start working on it again and hopefully get the body on in this episode. A couple things I need to do to the frame before I actually start fitting up the body and making all the brackets and everything. Don't have a game plan for that, but uh, we'll figure it out once we get to it. A couple things I need to do is I need to relocate the air filter and also the gas tank and add a fuel pump in. I think all that's gonna work. We'll have to test it out too before we fully mount up the body. Yeah, <laughs> we'll figure all that out. Uh, I just had to buy a couple other things to relocate some stuff so the body can fit on there and the seat can fit on there. Another thing is a lot of people wanted me to build an exhaust that comes out the back of the jet ski, kind of like the jet pump does. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have to build a custom tubing that goes all the way around right here and then comes out right here. Maybe some brackets to hold it up. Uh, I don't think that's gonna be super hard, but uh, we gotta do that too. And then we can start mounting up the body and then we can start hopefully driving it and testing it out, make sure it all is working right. Uh, yeah, so let's do that. I got a couple parts I need to put on and then the exhaust I need to mock up and fit. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's do it. Exhaust is on, welded, and it looks really good. Uh, a little bit of exhaust leak up where it mounts to the motor, but I think it's just a gasket or something I'm missing. I don't know. It, either way, it sounds a lot better than what it used to, and it looks a lot better than it used to. I didn't buy like actual exhaust tubing. I just bought something from the store that was around the same size and kind of bent it to match. Had to do a little bit of notching to try to make a 90 degree turn right here. Maybe not what you're supposed to do, but it's just what I need to do to get it to work and kind of look okay. So I'd say do this at your own risk because I don't really know if it's gonna cause any problems, but it looks good, <laughs> so that's all that matters. I couldn't figure out why it wasn't running. Uh, switched out batteries because that battery is completely dead and it still wasn't starting, so started looking at wiring. I redid all my connections up here, did all that stuff, made sure I was right. Everything looked okay. I just don't know why it wasn't starting because it started before I took everything apart. So running through stuff, found out it was this solenoid. So I replaced that and it started cranking right up. 
So then I had to hook up this fuel pump because I had to relocate this gas tank because it was sitting too high and the seat wouldn't be able to get on. So now it needs a fuel pump. Make sure this fuel pump works, hook it all up. And I just found a hot wire to kind of attach it to and put a fuse on it. That way it stays hot whenever you turn the key on and also when it's running. That way it's constantly getting fuel. Made sure that worked, started right up. A little bit of starting fluid just because it's been sitting for a while, but it runs great. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that the fuel pump worked. I was a little nervous that it wasn't going to work, but it works out great and it makes it, everything a lot easier now. So now that everything is running and back to normal, new speedometer and everything that I just broke a little bit, but it's okay. Uh, we're going to start putting the body on and working on mounting it up. Uh, this is going to be a little tricky part, probably going to be the hardest part about all this because I don't know exactly how I want to mount it up or like how I'm going to attach the brackets and everything because I still want to make the body removable but I don't want to make it like super hard to like take apart. So just kind of figuring all that stuff out. I think once I get the body on and sitting in a good place I'll be able to have a game plan for it. So let me find someone to help me put the body on and then we can move on from there.
the body is on, everything is mounted, everything is built, and it lines up pretty good. Had to adjust the front a little bit, had to drill it out a little bit more, but it's all on there. One other thing I need to do is get shorter bolts for the front. I bought like five inch ones, and I really need like four inch ones. It wasn't as big of a gap as I thought it was. So I gotta go buy some more of those, not a big deal. I can do that whenever. The mounts right here were pretty easy. I had to take the body on and off a couple different times to get that angle right, because I couldn't really build the tabs and also weld them on at the same time. So it's a lot of adjusting, but got that mounted. Front one's all mounted, all welded on. It all looks good. Everything is very accessible right here, which is nice. Gas can is right here. For right now, I'm gonna just put gas in it right here. Eventually, I would like to build a tube that goes up to this uh, fill nozzle thing right here. I think that would be really cool. But for right now, I'm just gonna run it right here because that's the easiest thing to do right now. I also got everywhere I cut out fiberglassed up. That way the foam's not gonna get damaged or start wearing out or whenever dirt's kicking up from riding it, it's not gonna start eating away at it. I want it to look a lot better too. So got all that fiberglass work done. I'm also gonna be shaving this part right here. So I add a little bit of fiberglass and I'm gonna add more buttons. Up here in the hood, I'm gonna be cutting this out and modifying it to fit the gauge cluster in there. Same thing with a headlight. A headlight's gonna go somewhere right here. I gotta order all that stuff. This is gonna be a little time consuming adding a headlight and stuff. Hopefully it can make it look good. Uh, I'll show all that in the next episode though. I just wanna get the whole body mounted. That was the main focus of this video. I also love how low it is in the back. It looks like it's riding on water and this exhaust looks just like a jet pump. It looks so good. I'm so glad you guys recommended doing that. <laughs> really great idea and I really love the look of it. Next episode is all about finishing it up. I wanna get this thing done. I know it's not super popular on my channel right now. Uh, hopefully it'll blow up <laughs> later on, but right now I just kind of want to get it done and out of the way. Make more room in my garage. It's starting to fill up pretty fast. But next episode is going to be all about body work and getting it running. I uh, have new decals for it. Got to redo the hood. I got new handlebars, new seat, new seat cover. And yeah, <laughs> uh, a lot of work next episode, but it should be pretty quickly done. I can do all this pretty fast. Also, I want to add new numbers. Let me know you guys have like an idea, maybe like a U and an R for Ultimate Rebuilds and then like some random number. Uh, not really sure yet. You guys give me an idea of something to do right there. Maybe a cool idea. I also have new grill inserts and everything. I have everything new and ordered for the most part. I can't drive it right now and test it because I'm waiting for a lot of the stuff to come in, like the new brakes, new throttle cable. So I'm gonna kind of wait until I have it all painted and put back together to start test driving it and stuff. I know that's not really what you're supposed to do, but I don't really have anyone here to help me take it on and off all the time. I'm calling a friend to, to drive over to help me take it on and off. So I'm just gonna send it once I get it all painted. I don't think I'm gonna have to do any kind of major modification. If I do, it's gonna be something very minor, not anything that's gonna ruin the paint or when it's done. So that's all for next episode. Uh, really excited to get this thing back done. I'm just happy to start working on it again. I kind of missed this thing. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram yet, go ahead and check me out there. I post a lot of behind the scenes and just random stuff. I posted a picture of my bug that kind of got in a wreck the other day. Uh, you can go check that out if you want to. If not, I will see you guys next week on something I post. Maybe the pontoon, maybe this, maybe something completely different. Who knows? <laughs> all right. Catch you guys later. Bye.